Our next hymn comes from the supplemental book entitled Lift Every Voice and Sing, Volume 2. The connecting thread of the music in this particular collection is that they are all written by people of color. This particular piece was created by Charles Albert Tindley, who was born in Berlin, Maryland in 1851. His father, Charles, whom he was named after, was a slave, and his mother, Hester, was free, though she died when her son was quite young. His mother's sister then took him in so that he could remain a free man. In his book of sermons, however, he does say that he was, quote, hired out wherever father could place me. So he still lived the life of an indentured servant as a very young man. Eventually, he grew up enough to marry Daisy Henry when he was about 17 years old. Together, the couple had eight children. Tinley was largely self-taught throughout his lifetime. He learned to read mostly on his own, and then he and Daisy and the children moved to Philadelphia, where he began to take correspondence courses and eventually led to him becoming a Methodist minister. Beginning in 1885, he was appointed by the local bishop to serve two or three-year terms at a series of different churches until eventually he came full circle and settled into being the pastor at East Bainbridge in 1902. Now, under his specific leadership, the church grew rapidly. The hymns that he wrote were always reflective of his talent as a preacher. And the theme of turning over all our troubles to Jesus is connected to the ideas that we've seen in some of our earlier hymns, including the connection to the ones that talk about relying on God for the help that we need. And so let's take a few moments to engage the poetry that Charles has left for us as his legacy. In the words of the song, let Jesus fix it for you. If your life in days gone by has not been good and true in your own way, no longer try, but let him fix it for you. Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do whenever you pray. Let him have his way and he will fix it for you. Perhaps your temper is to blame for many wrongs you do. Take it to God, in Jesus' name, and he will fix it for you. If in your home the trouble is, the course you should pursue, go talk to God, your hand in his, and he will fix it for you. And if some sin your soul hath bound with cords you can't undo, at Jesus' feet, go, lay it down, and he will fix it for you. Maybe to you the world is dark and comforts far and few. Let Jesus own and rule your heart, and he will fix it for you. Let Jesus fix it for you. He knows just what to do whenever you pray. Let him have his way and he will fix it for you. It feels like the words to this particular song are all about trust and how we can trust in Jesus. And so here's some questions for you to ponder. Number one, while it may appear to be a simple way to fix our problems, how can bringing them to Jesus help us to deal with issues that we alone struggle to overcome? 
And our second question, remember a time in your life where you have felt you had no control. How can turning ourselves over to Jesus help us in those situations? And third, how does this advice help us when we contemplate the temptations that we have been addressing during the Lenten season? And so as you take these words with you for the course of the day, have an opportunity to mull about in your, in your mind and in your heart what a difference it would make if we would learn to trust and turn over to Jesus. And then we can come back together again tomorrow and hear the words of yet another of our hymns. But until then, please take care and God bless. <laughs>